Okay, I was I was just in the gym, and this has happened a few times in the last uh, few weeks. It happens all the time. You know, usually when I go to the gym, it's a bit like when I go to the supermarket. I'm I feel like I'm I'm still I'm like a Jedi stealth knight. I'm kind of in and out as fast as I possibly can do. Ideally, I'm doing my shopping online, but if I can't do it online if it cannot be delivered to the door i'm going to go there i'm going to eat healthily before i go i'm not going to be hungry when i get there and i know exactly what i've got to get and it's going to i'm going to be in and out as quickly as possible it's almost like it's a race in order to get in and out because it's 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 almost like it's a waste of time it's the same in the gym i've got i've it definitely per there's a purpose in me being there but I've got to be purposeful in what I'm doing. So I'm not messing about with my phone. You'll never catch me on my phone in the gym. I'm not uh, thinking, oh, okay, what am I doing next? It's literally bang, 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 bang. I'm talking like 15 seconds rest recovery, 30 seconds rest recovery, maximum 45 seconds to 60 seconds rest recovery, and then on, the, on to the next. But inevitably, when you're going to the same gym and you're seeing the same people because you're going around about the same times, you're gonna, you're gonna hit into small talk. And guys like to talk to guys and what are you training for usually comes up. And I'll obviously say, I'm, you know, I'm training for the world championships, so I'm training for, you know, a certain race, I'm training for a marathon, I'm just trying to keep it, I'll try to keep it short so I can get on with my stuff. But a lot of the times when I ask the question back, what are you training for? At the moment, because we're in summer, or as we've been building up to summer, a lot of guys will say, I'm training for, a holiday in Marbella, or I'm training for a holiday in the south of Spain, or I'm training for a holiday in Bali or Thailand, wherever they're going. They're training for a holiday. The concept of that for me is absolutely insane, but I have to have to I have to respect it because they're training for something. They have a goal in mind. They're training, they're in the gym, they're doing the reps, they're getting it done and whatever the goal is, they're moving forward. But what inevitably happens is once they've had that summer holiday and summer comes to the end and they go back to Manchester or wherever they're from, what's the next goal? Are they training to look good in a t-shirt over the winter months when they're in a nightclub? Like what, what's the goal after then? Um, and also I'll ask people what you're training for and a lot of the time people say, well, I'm just trying to maintain. That's the biggest, it's absolutely, if you're in that 0.0, no, 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 1% and you have that insane drive and motivation to go to the gym, to physically get to the gym, to spend energy getting there, to get ready for the gym and go there and your goal is to stay in the same shape as you are right now, to not kind of lose um, put on to not put on fat or to not lose muscle or whatever. It, if that if you're in that zero 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 one percent, then amazing. But the chances are you're not, and therefore to have the goal to maintain is not only crazy, it's ludicrous. We cannot. It's just not in our human nature um, to want to stay the same. We have to develop. We have to progress. We have to move forward. Whatever it is in our lives, we've got to be moving, we've got to feel as if we're moving forward. So unless we're not, unless we, unless we, we, we're moving forward, we're not happy. So we're, in your running game, you always have to be moving forward. And when you've finished, when you get to the goal, whatever it is, whether it's a, a big 5K, a big 10K, a half marathon, marathon, ultra marathon, and then you kind of take a little bit of time off, off one, two weeks just for the body to fully recover, you have to put yourself into another like another goal straight away. You have to be planning in the future. Otherwise, you're just gonna move backwards. There's no such thing really as maintaining. You're just moving backwards. And then when you start to train towards the next objective, you're gonna be so so much further back than where you should where you should have kind of left off. So finish what you were about to do, succeed or fail. Main thing is that you go for it, and then have a couple of weeks off because you deserve it and your body needs it. Your body needs it. It doesn't just deserve it, it needs it. And then once you've done that, have something else to go at. Now like maybe you just finished a marathon and you have a couple of weeks off, then you start easy running for a couple of weeks, just see how the body's doing, see how the muscles are recovering, 
eat like crazy, drink loads of, uh, hydrate, make sure your body is fully, become a full-time recoverer, become a professional recoverer after you've been training for so long, especially if it's been a three month dedicated period that you've been training for that event and then set your sights on something else. And that might be you just finished a marathon and then you're gonna try and run a 10K in as fast as you can because you're going for a, let's say a, t a sub um, three hour marathon and now you're gonna try and run a sub 37 and a half minute 10K because that you realize if you can improve your speed, then you're gonna be able to improve your marathon time if you just keep on improving your endurance. It might be the other way. It might be that you've just finished a 10K and now you wanna go for the marathon. So the middle ground is a half marathon and you're gonna dedicate your time and, and weeks and months in order to train for a half marathon. So the training slightly train, it changes, not too much difference to a 10K, but you're still moving forward, something's improving, you're still self-development, self the motivation's still there, you're still seeing yourself like gradually moving up that 1% every session and things are moving forward. And that again, just, just gets that positive feedback loop moving so you're ready to go again. It's all about moving forward, so you can't just maintain. It doesn't matter whether you're going to the gym, doesn't matter whether you're trying to do well at work, doesn't matter whether you're trying to start a business, doesn't matter whether you're trying to invest into a portfolio and do well at that, doesn't matter whether you're trying to run. You have to be moving forward. There's no such thing as trying to maintain, otherwise you're gonna stagnate and move backwards. You're either moving backwards or you're moving forwards. There is no middle ground.